think they do you with decency of a phone call. Friday, May the 9th, 2014, at 20.07 hours. The nurse from heart to heart is here. We're coming up. Hey mom, mom, the nurse is here, she's going to take a look at your hand, okay? Yeah. to get you a little bit more light so you can see what's here. I don't know if you need this or not, but I forget. It's fine. I'm just going to wash my hands. Oh, okay. You see the difference in her hair? Yeah. That's too cool. Huh? Look at you do. You got to cut, cut, wash, and set. have some Cheerios. I'm known as a Cheerio. I eat more Cheerios than probably anybody you know. Really? Oh, you I, love Cheerios? I love Cheerios. That's cool. 
they're healthy for you. Absolutely. This is a good, good snack. And no sugar. Good vitamins, good fiber. Yeah, oats, the milk. It's, it's everything. It's a secret food. Thing. That's it. I was going to say, keep it simple. Yes. Nice, simple, mm -hmm. and, and good too. Mm -hmm. That's all to You know what? I don't know if it's the milk, because milk is supposed to be relaxing. Uh -huh. But when I get too tense, I have a couple of bowls of this, and I feel good. That's nice. So, I guess it's like they used to say, drink a warm glass of milk. Uh -huh. After you mm -hmm. relax before you go to sleep. Yes. Heard that, and it works pretty good. Well, you feel more Christian medicine uh -huh. and the alprazolam because okay. she's a little edgy. She says, I need she something. It's gorgeous. You, you cut her? Huh? You cut her hair? No. No? No. I got a cut color. I checked. We were no. out. Oh. You look beautiful. We didn't go into this place for years, but today they got fed up with trying to get her set up so she lean back and mm -hmm. get the shampoo to, mm -hmm. to rinse out the uh, whatever you do with, with, with the color. The, yeah. color. Oh, okay. And they said we can't do that anymore because she has trouble laying back. Oh. And they move things around. They're doing re restructuring. Yeah. And, oh, okay. and so but they managed to accommodate. Today, yeah. Okay. But you know what it was? I think it was Friday. And I don't like to go there on Friday. Too busy? Yeah. And so I always used to go like a Tuesday or Wednesday. I would say, well, you know, what's this? It's always time you're not doing anything, not making money, you know. Right. And we would go, and it was always, always okay. But I think today, it was busy. It was busy. So we were, we, this happened actually, yeah. <clears throat> we took Accessorite back and forth. Okay. The Accessorite going there. Where are you going? To the doctor? No, to get a haircut. Oh, this was for the, okay. So they put the strap over here mm -hmm. instead of her hand on top of the strap. And I remember the buckle was someplace right around up here. Right. And she was complaining of how much pain she was in. But I thought it was the bed sore. You didn't notice that? No, because she had sweater and things on. Okay. And so once we got off, the pain sort of disappeared. I said, okay, you know. So we take the coat off, but we left the sweater and the shirt on, so it was still covered. And they come back, there was no pain. Okay. So that's I said, cool. you know, that's not, so, um, what's her name? Jasmine mm -hmm. was helping me take the sweater off. Mm -hmm. And when we got the sweater off, you'll see, it, it shocked both of us. Oh. So. So you noticed that when you got home? Yeah. Okay. And so Jasmine left, she was on the toilet. Mm -hmm. So she didn't want me to put her pants on her, so she's just got a towel over her there. But it looks like it's starting to stick to her already. So I'll let you do your thing since you're the nurse. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll show you what I cleaned it with. I cleaned it with this, but this was the first thing that I sprayed it with. And I used that on her back, but she said it stung. Okay. So I had this other one. I've never used it before. So I sprayed some more with that. Okay, how's the skin? Good. You know what? I'll show you what. The skin is gone. Let me show you. Can you stick to this. The sweater? I actually. 
Let me slow it up for a second. Now I can show you a film. I took a picture of it. So you can. Here we go. And really, it spooked me. Now I'm just getting the, the date and time. I get it closer. You see how the it's like the skin is just torn away. And it looks just like this trap too. It looks like it was a burned area. Does she have a, a bruising or a burn? No. That's, no? That's, so her skin was okay. It was like this. Yeah. You see the perfect square? Mm -hmm. Just like the strap. Mm -hmm. and, and it looked like it was over it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, I, I, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, you see that skin right there? Mm -hmm. I just I lifted it up a tiny bit. Sprayed underneath it. Okay. So I just tried to get a good picture from the different angles. Oh, wow. So it's a pretty good size rule. I think it was happened? wild because there was no pain coming back. And I helped him with the, the belt. Mm -hmm. So I knew her hand was on top of it. Okay. Going, I know it was the belt was over. Okay. So I know that for a fact. And even uh, Jasmine said, because I was asking her if it was her back, and she said no. But I couldn't figure out what else would be hurting her. Yeah, I so. so. No allergies, right? She doesn't no. have any allergies? No. Okay. Um, did you speak to the doctor? I, I went over to the doctor. He wasn't there. Okay. So they said, come back Monday morning. I said, yeah, thank you. Okay. So I talked to you on the phone. Mm -hmm. And then I started to say, you know, maybe I should have some, somebody take a because it's bigger than you probably thought even. Yes, I thought it was probably just, you know, a little bit of the skin, but it's, it's red. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, what I was afraid of, that this thing is going to stick to it and it's really going to be bad. Yes. I think it's stuck to it already. Yeah. I don't think you should put anything on top. Like, right now you could leave it as is. And, um, supervise, make sure there's no pressure on it. Okay. Even if it sticks to it? No, no, no. Um, you just said leave it as it is. No, it's going to stick to it. Don't put anything else on top. Okay. So that's going to stick to the, to, to the granulation. Right. That's called granulation, right? The red part? Yes. So I don't think there should be no thing covering it. You mean take um, that off? I'm not suggesting anything at the moment. What I could do is talk to health first and have... Health first is useless. No. I called health first. And what did they say? At first they said they don't have a nurse to send. And then when I bitched and moaned, then I said, well, we do have an agency. If you're not going to do anything, don't bother. I mean, there's no sense in doing that. Yes. Um, we cannot um, change any wounds. You so can't change bandages? Or? 
No, we the agency provides the aid services, so we open up the cases and we come and assess the patient and see what other further um, you know help we can get for the patient. Well, you knew why. Right. They said they wanted me to come see and assess the patient and see how she's doing. You want me to take the bandage off so you can see it? Um, no, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. You, you show me. Um, okay. Then we'll do it. Thanks. Okay, would you like me to do the vitals for the patient? No. Let's see. No. Okay. I know her vitals are okay. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. So I'm going to talk to health first and see if I can send the wound care nurse to take care of her. Okay? No, I'm going to see the doctor on Monday. You want to see the doctor on Monday? Yeah. Okay. Because I already talked to health first. They're a pain in the ass. You know, in two months, mm -hmm. I spent close to 7,000 minutes trying to deal with these people to get her on board. That's over 100 hours that I could have been spending with her. I had the New York Medicaid Choice Counselor on the phone for over an hour on Saturday with these people. They don't give a shit about people. That's the counselor. New York Medicaid choice. So the first thing they said to me when I said, do you have a nurse, do you get sent out? No, we don't have a nurse. Period, that's it. It was only after I bitched and moaned, I think I said that you guys think you want to come out. Then they said, well, we do have an agency that we can. And I thought you were a nurse, you were going to come out and do something. If this was all you are going to do, if this is, you know, if you told me this is all you are going to do, I would have said, save yourself the time, don't come. I mean... I understand. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go to bed then. I'm sorry. So we need to follow up with the doctor and see if we can get our nurse to come visit him. Huh? We need to follow up with the doctor, so... On Monday, you're going to go, right? With the patient. Okay. It's not a patient. It's my mother. I'm sorry, your mother. Right. And I don't want you to send any nurses here. Okay. If you do, there's going to be a problem. All right, no problem. Um, I don't need people who don't want to help. I want to go to bed. Let's call it a night. Thank you. Sorry, Mom. Another wasted time. Good night, Miss Mary. So that's Louisa, Vieira, heart to heart. So that the aid and I noticed the wound on my mom's right arm. I explained to her how it got here. If she goes and asks me if the hand was burnt before she went out, I'm not really sure why you get asked a question like this when you explain how something happens. The aide is a witness. Her name is Yanveta Sanchez, otherwise known as Jasmine. It's now 8.26 p.m. on Friday, May the 9th. I requested that she not send Health First nurse because when I called Health First, they said they don't have a nurse, period end. It was after I Planned a bit and said that then I'm going to have the nurse from Health First heart to heart come out. They said, well, they do have an agency. So, constant abuse from the medical profession. The nurse heart to heart. Can I use the phone? We 
Sierra, please do. All she did for my mom was looked at it. And that was it. It's incredible what we have to deal with. They don't come out to help, they just come out to document.
I am sure glad I got that on video. Here your mom gets hurt. You call the nurse because you want to make sure she's taken care of. They come out and they sort of say that you burn her even though somebody from their agency witnesses what goes on and what happened. And then she won't even take a look at the wound. It's incredible what these agencies do. They only want to come out to document. It's a nurse, but she won't look. She wants to call Health First. Health First said they don't even have a nurse. Until after I bitched and moaned, oh, well, we do have an agency. They don't want to help. They just want to put somebody in jail hurt somebody. They don't care.